Hey, what's going on? I have a, a family member currently studying to become a pilot. Uh, so I really want to share a few things about the overall process and just really how to get there or maybe a little bit faster and cheaper as well. So the first step, if you ever thought about becoming a pilot, is the discovery flight, right? Uh, this is where you actually get some hands-on training, real-world experience flying to discover what it's about and if you like it and what you don't like about it. Um, plus, you can brag to a lot of people that you actually flew a plane. That's cool, right? Now, if you do want to become an, a commercial pilot and actually get paid for it, uh, the truth is around 80% of the students that start, they don't make it to the end, to the, the finish line or the landing strip, so to speak. Uh, there's a lot of reasons for that, but a big, big rent one is the finances. Um, it costs a lot of money. I mean, you know, it costs around, on average, you know, somewhere in the ballpark of $100,000 if you add everything up from start to finish to become a commercial uh, pilot, make money from it. Okay, unless you join the military, you go down that path, all right? Now, according to Zip Recruiter, all right, the average income of a starting commercial pilot is somewhere in the ballpark at $50,000, okay? Starting out, of course, you can make more towards the end later. Um, so is it worth it? I don't know, that's for you to decide, okay? Now, there are scholarships that can help and different ways that can help with that, um, but a lot of the scholarships, and correct me if I'm wrong, but a lot of them are kind of geared towards women and as well as minorities as well, okay, that I've discovered. Um, and if you see something I don't, please share in the comments. Uh, now, the airline United, what's cool, so cool about them is they actually have a, a school uh, where they'll actually pay $17,000 uh, up front to help you become a pilot, okay? Um, plus, they'll get access to loans as well that can finance a lot of the rest. And what's so cool about United is because the loan has a conditional job offer attached to it, um, this reduces the risk um, to the bank. And that, of course, can reduce the interest rate and help you qualify for the loan as well. So there's a lot of really cool stuff with United. Um, that's a really great ride as well. But the bad news, or the good news, <laughs> is that uh, United wants at least half of the school to be, uh, well, women or minorities as well. All right, so figuring out the finances beforehand uh, just will increase your chance of making it to the end, so to speak, okay? Something to think about. Uh, so after you figure out the finances, how are you gonna pay for it? Uh, the next step is getting the medical stuff out of the way so that does not hold you back, okay? Get that out of the way, all right? Uh, then you can actually study at home for a lot. A lot of stuff you can do at, actually at home. There's a lot of written tests, exams, and you can actually pass all that stuff before you even get in the cockpit. Um, this way, when you do hit the cockpit, you know a lot, okay? And it's gonna reinforce all the stuff that you learned um, on the ground, okay? Uh, then, when you're flying, you know, you can give yourself homework and reinforce all the stuff you learn when flying at home, you know, doing homework, okay? Uh, there's even a way to listen to the language of air traffic um, at home. Uh, that way, when you're in the cockpit, it's going to be easier for you, okay? There's even a way to do that. So my family member right now, he's paying around $400 per flight, which is a lot of money. So the more learning you could do on the ground at home, it's just going to save you money. It's going to be better for you, the instructor, everybody. It really is. Uh, so each flight you really want to be prepared for because they're expensive, okay? So after you get your pilot's license, um, you still need somewhere in the ballpark of 250 hours of flying time plus more tests uh, to get your commercial license to actually get paid for being a pilot, okay, and flying. Um, and if you want to learn more, just click on the link down below or go to my website at trustthelink.com. I wrote a whole uh, blog post about this. I also share different ways to get those hours, as well as some different uh, ways to study for the written exams, and more things you could do at home 
uh, to prepare yourself as well. So I hope this video or podcast was at least a little bit helpful. If, if you disagree with something or if you have something to add, then hey, please leave a comment below. I, uh, I wish you the best. Uh, have a great, great rest of your day. Bye.